Free speech gives us all the right to be dickheads. But last week, Senator Lionhelm seemed to think it's actually an obligation. Liberal Democratic Party Senator David Lionhelm has sparked outrage after hurling crude abuse at his Greens counterpart Sarah Hanson-Young. He confirmed that he had yelled, you should stop shagging men, Sarah. Shocked, I told him that he was a creep. His reply was to tell me to F dot 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 off. By any standard, what Senator David Lionhelm said to the Greens Sarah Hanson-Young is despicable. Ah, uh, but that would assume David Lionhelm has standards. <laughs> I guess Sarah, Senator Hanson Young must have said something incredibly hurtful for Lionhelm to make comments in Parliament about her sex life. Words very similar, or if not identical, to if only men would stop raping women or all men are rapists or words to that effect. No, they're, they're not the same thing. You, you certainly can't you... produce that quote and she certainly denies it. So you believe her and you're truly me a liar. Thank you very much. No, I'm saying that you actually can't remember. You've, you've said that you can't exactly remember what she said. Do I have to remember every word precisely for it to be true? In order to justify a pretty strong comment, yeah, I reckon you do. No, I don't reckon you do. <laughs> oh, that was such a mauling. I'm surprised Virginia didn't stop for a post-carnage selfie. <laughs> He got a much softer run on Sky News Outsiders program with Rowan Dean and Ross Cameron, where he took the opportunity to double down. We're very excited to have on Outsiders the great Senator David Lionhelm. This is not a criticism, but Sarah is known for liking men. Um, the rumours about her <laughs> in Parliament House are well known. I think it's time for, for at least us alpha males to stand up. <laughs> Here, the alpha male embarks, <laughs> embarks upon a display of catty workplace gossip to impress the juvenile pack. <laughs> it is surprising that neither of the hosts of Sky News Outsiders called him out on the comment, despite it being Australia's most female-friendly show. This show, uh, as uh, regular viewers will know, is dedicated to the all-Australian girl next door. Uh, the... Uh, woman who loves being a woman, uh, the female who loves being female. And uh, she, of course, is the celestial body around which uh, civilization orbits. Yes, Ross, there's nothing a woman likes more than being told she has her own gravitational pull. <laughs> Now, Sky News offered an apology, and eventually so did Ross and Rowan. Now, I'm not saying it was written by their lawyers, but it was delivered with all the enthusiasm of two people who'd just been caught smuggling pistol and boo into the country. But there is a line that shouldn't be crossed, and yesterday that line was crossed. Gossip and rumour is not, in our judgement, the basis for a news story or a current affairs show. We are really sorry our, <laughs> our guest said the exact thing that made us want to have him on the show in the first place. <laughs> if this show looks bizarre to you, you have not watched enough Sky News in the evening. Because every night at 6pm they crank up the clown car of cultural warriors and let rip with some A-grade crazy. It's going to look like that. <laughs> like that. Oh, your promo mentioned Islam. I'm probably not going to come now. I said, well, bugger off. Bugger off. If you were on fire, he wouldn't piss on you. I repeat, wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. Why does Paul Murray want Christopher Pine to piss on him so badly? <laughs> During the day, Sky News has plenty of respectable real reporters trying to do actual journalism. So how do we warn people when the nonsense is about to begin? Well, we at The Weekly have an idea. For decades, TV stations across Australia have run messages to tell children when it's time to go to bed. After a long day of play, fun and adventure, it's time to pack up the toys, brush your teeth well, cuddle up in bed with your favourite toy and not off to dreamy land. Good night, boys and girls. Well, at 6pm every night, Sky News becomes unsuitable for children. Or anyone, really. <laughs> so we thought we'd give them their own bedtime mascot. Brian the Bat has had a busy day watching Sky News report actual news. But now it's six o'clock and the real journalists are getting tired. And Sky News is about to stop being news. Which means... Right after the break, it's Peter Greller. Personal vendettas. I think you are all piss and wind. Unhinged ranting. She's full of shit and I called her out on it. 
the only reason they're doing it is because I'm a Muslim. That's bullshit! Slut-shaming workmates. Sarah is known for liking men. Anti-Jewish conspiracies. I'd slash any spending on any NGO which is funded by George Soros. Pro-Jewish conspiracies. Jews have already invented everything. When you see a Jew walking on the street, you should recognise an ancestor of King David. And one guy who just thinks crocodiles are too big these days. You don't need five metre crocodiles. So, block your ears <laughs> with anything you can find. Brian the Bat says, good night, viewers. Sky News is about to get batshit crazy. <laughs>